Now, these characteristics of this coastline, this lace-like coastline full of promontories and small bays, is a feature that extends to the east along the entire Algarve coastline to the central sector, practically to the Aura region, Olos d'Agua are. Thus, the entire lakes region, including Portimao, Alvor, all the way up to Albufeira. Rocks of the coast have this characteristic. They are the rocks of the same formation as the Portimao lakes, therefore, of lower Miocene age, therefore one to two tens of millions of years, roughly with these same characteristics that were subjected to these same erosion processes. Therefore, all this lacy morphology, all this pattern of bays and promontories can be accompanied more or less with the same characteristics and therefore makes this whole sector of the Algarve coast with the same similarity, with similarities that in some way attract and are visited and are of interest to those who visit this region. We are currently at Ponta da Piedade, gazing towards the west in the direction of Porto Mojo Beach. What we can already observe is that there are two distinct sectors of the cliff here, which can be seen in this image. In the background, we observe a cliff that is cut in a linear manner, linearized, all very straight. And here, closer, we notice that the cliff exhibits this characteristic of a highly irregular illusion, with promontories, with small bays, in a completely distinct manner. Now, this is due to the fact that its geological nature is distinct. In the background, we have the formation of Portomos, a formation of Mali limestones, limestones with clay, alternating with clay levels. Now, this natural environment, despite comprising a limestone component, carbonate rocks have minimal vertical development and, as such, are not particularly erudite from a chemical point of view. You are already here, closer to us, the formation of Portimao lakes of Miocene age are rocks in which they present the same characteristics in terms of nature throughout their expression throughout the cliff. As a result of this, they are subjected to a particularly intense form of chemical attack that causes significant damage to them. They are formed by biocalcarnite, bio by the fossil component, which is very abundant in this formation. Carbonated, therefore, the biocalcarnite limestone indicates that it has a carbonated component, which is the one that will be attacked by chemical erosion by rainwater as it infiltrates into these rocks. And it also has a detrital component of biocalca sandstone. The sandstone is a detrital cortisose component, which is left behind and which, to some extent, feeds the current beaches. Hence, a portion of the existing sand on the beaches in this Algarve coastline is a direct outcome of chemical erosion resulting from the modification of the rocks that make up this specific area of the Miocene period, rather than from the creation of Porto Moss. This one lacks tritic component, except in clayey component, but this one doesn't stay on beaches, it's taken to open sea. All this lace work, all these cavities have millions of years of history. In fact, they are associated with a process that began to manifest itself after the formation of these rocks, the so-called formation of Portimao lakes, Miocene, very fossiliferous carbonate. And it is because it is carbonated that it presents this irregularity, since carbonate rocks typically, when they appear on the surface, when it occurs on the surface, they begin to be chemically eroded. Chemically, rainwater is slightly acidic, has a slight acidity, and this acidification causes them to corrode the carbonate and create these cavities. These cavities, as I told you, have been occurring for several million years. The formation of Lagos Portimao is estimated to be around 18 to 15 million years old in age. We are here in the coastal area of Lagos, more specifically between Ponta da Piedade and Dona Ana Beach, a particularly beautiful area that is particularly interesting for those who visit this region and is constantly visited by tourists. Due to the lace-like nature, the highly irregular character of this coastline results in the formation of constant headlands, small bays, and even leaves behind several reefs forming small isolated islets in the sea sector area. What individuals generally do not know 
is that these rocks possess this intricate lattice work because they have undergone intense erosion over a span of millions of years, gradually shaped by the forces of nature. This is not merely a current erosion process. At present, the erosion process is still ongoing. These rocks continue to disintegrate, which is why they pose a certain level of danger, and that is why these coastlines have multiple warnings about falling blocks. This is because they are constantly being eroded and also because they have the particularity of presenting several cavities. Many of these cavities, which are often utilized by visitors to move from one sector of a beach to another, provide a convenient means of transportation. Additionally, these coastlines have the characteristic of being constantly shaped by the forces of erosion, resulting in their unique and ever-changing landscape.